my little poppets and welcome back to another plan with me i've gone ahead and whited out all of the dates and the black lines already just to make this a little bit quicker because this week i'm so excited because i'm using this disney themed kit as it was my daughter's birthday last week and obviously i'm doing a rewind plan with me but not only was it my daughter's birthday week and i'm using a disney themed kit and it's all exciting i also bought some foil overlays i mean i've titled this plan with me foil overload because that's exactly what it is i've got the overlays i've got a foiled sampler sheet i've pulled in all of my foiled icons and also some foiled date covers even though they're gold and everything else is silver but we don't we don't worry about mixing and matching foiled colors here on this channel so yes very excited i decided to pull in a couple of rolls of washi this one is just like a plain one that i was just using at the top and then the other two are the mambi like really thin washi strips one has got the silver foiled on there mixed in with blues and pinks which matched the kit perfectly and then the other one is just a light pink thin roll of washi although later on i realized it's actually an ombre because it fades into purple but i didn't realize that until like the second half of the week but you'll see it as we go along so first of all i'm just putting all of the date covers along the top i didn't Oh, I just hit my mic. I didn't have any of the date dots left with the dates that I needed to use. So I just left them off and I will fill that in with pen a bit later. And then here I'm just using that thin pink roll of washi to cover up where I've tip X'd out the black line. And then again, I use the really thin Mambi one. And then we're just going to go in day by day. So I put a page flag down at the top as it was bank holiday on Monday. I hope you guys all had a lovely bank holiday. If you got up to anything special, then definitely let me know down in the comments. I actually worked on bank holiday, so I've marked that down on a half box and I used one of the clock icons which came on the foiled sampler. And then here I'm just putting down a quarter box as my daughter went out for the day to meet up with her friends and go for coffee. Um, so I just put that down and originally I wasn't going to use any poppets in this spread because I've been saying for a while I'm going to try to do a spread with no poppets. It didn't happen. I, could, I just can't help myself. I will try again another time but I had to use the poppets to mark that she was going to be going out with her friends. And then I blocked off the time with a full box as I was going to be at work all day. And then here I'm just going to try something new. I'm taking the foiled overlay or the headers and I'm going to be putting them in between the quarter boxes that I'm using to make it a foiled shiny kind of full box so it is a bit hard to see on camera but in person it's so shiny oh it's so good I'm just looking at my planner and I'm amazed by it so that definitely works really well and looks so pretty if you use the um, header overlays and just put them on your white space in between your boxes in your planner it looks so good so I just am doing that in between each one and I do that on every day so it's almost like I've got two full boxes per day if that makes sense so Tuesday I took my daughter up to college because she had to enroll for her second year and then um, we went and got some bubble tea because apparently now that's a new thing that I do every time I go to city we have to have bubble tea <laughs> and I also put down there with a grumpy poppet face that we had no aircon in the car because ours is broken and it was super hot so that's why the little not impressed pop it is there and then here i just put a half box which i flipped up onto its side and behind it i put another one of the overlay headers to mark down that i was going to be uploading my plan with me and my plan with me went up really late because we were up at the college and rolling for a lot longer than what we had planned so the little pop it that's like in fire really annoyed uh, kind of suits that perfectly and then moving on to Wednesday it was my daughter's birthday so of course I had to use the Minnie Mouse cupcake full box up at the top there and then here on a half uh, not half box a quarter box I'm just writing down that it was my daughter's birthday and of course I had to use a birthday pop it and then here I'm just writing it she was 17 still can't believe it just saying it out loud mm -mm, not ready then underneath there I put down a half box and I used the birthday cake that come from the foiled sampler as my boys made her a birthday cake. It was amazing and we topped it with fresh cream and strawberries. It was delicious. It was four tiers. Oh, so good. 
and then again I'm just going to be layering the overlay headers and quarter boxes so I counted up all of the headers and just in case you are wondering per sheet these are all from Ginger Cat Co I completely forgot to say where the kit and where all the foil overlays were from they were all from the Ginger Cat Co which I'll leave her link down in the description box she's an amazing shop I've used her several times and I have always enjoyed her stickers but the um header sheet if I used four per day then I would have had enough and also would have had some for the sidebar so just in case you're wondering if you wanted to try this out in your planner you can have four or less or a bit more if you like um, overlays per day so it's kind of good for your money I think so here we are flipping over to Thursday and again I'm just stacking them all up I'm then going to take the mini Mambi washi and just put that down. So here you can see this pink washi, what I thought was pink washi, kind of blends or ombres into a purpley pink, which I didn't even know. So you learn something new every day, they say. Now we are going to be hopping on back up to the top. I realised that that sticker was a little bit crooked, so I just straightened it up. But the first thing that I done on Thursday was printed some orders. So I used a foiled printer sticker. I can't remember where this is from. I'll try and leave it in the description box because I'll have to go and have a look. And then I also posted out some orders as well. So I just used a pop it from the Happy Mail sheet. And in between kind of printing and packing the orders, i done some housework too. So I used a home life pop it for that. And then I just put down my full box. And then here we go again, stacking some foil overlays and boxes together. And I ripped the whole entire like planner page. We're just we're ignoring it and we're moving on i just put down two half boxes one was to mark that me and the boys we walked into town we got some ice cream and then we come back and we watched some movies so for that i used a poppet from the takeaway sheet and the tv poppet is from the tv sticker sheet <laughs> <laughs> okay and then right at the bottom there I've put down that I filmed my bullet journal because that's what I wrote down in my bullet journal but I can't remember if I've done that on Thursday I have a feeling I actually filmed that on Friday but we've put it on Thursday anyway so moving on to Friday we had a payday so I put a foiled payday sticker down and then I just marked down that I was going to be at work and for that I do I used a half box and a not a postage stamp I don't know why I'm going to say that What's it called? It's a um, page flag. <laughs> don't know where postage stamp come from. <laughs> um, I also done a food shop online. So to mark that, I used one of the puppets. It's actually from the home life sheet. It's got a little shopping list and a shopping basket. And then here I'm just stacking up all of the boxes again with the foiled overlays. And I've also got a bill due or I had a bill due on Friday. So I've put that down there as well. So here I'm just marking down that we went out and bought some dinner and for that I used the plate, the knife and the fork sticker which is from the, hmm, where was that from? Oh, it's from the foiled sampler sheet. And then I just used a silver foiled bow from Lucinda Charlotte Designs to mark that when boys were playing with their slip and slide. And then I ended it off with a full box at the bottom. So moving on to the weekend, we actually went up to the city and we were there for yeah pretty much the entire day we were doing the back to school shop which you know every parent dreads but actually it wasn't too bad we got done pretty quickly so it wasn't too bad in the end but I just put that down on a half box which I flipped up onto its side and put some of the foiled overlay washi strip things I don't know what I'm calling them um, behind it and then down at the bottom here I just marked that we got some coffee and again I used another sampler sticker from the foiled sampler sheet with the little coffee cup and then I'm just writing down some of the things that we brought mainly stationery was the biggest thing that we brought <laughs> yeah I did go a bit crazy with the stationery not that I mind because that's my most favorite part about when they go back to school and then on Sunday we got up early I'd done some housework got the laundry done and then I actually had a really, really bad headache. So I ended up going up to bed a little bit early. But before I could go up, I had to do the voiceover on my bullet journal video that went up. Where are we? Yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. It went up yesterday. So um, I've just marked down that I had a bad headache on a half box and used one of the little crying poppets. And then here I'm just using a bow sticker from Lucinda Charlotte Designs to mark down that I needed to do my voiceover. And also that I uploaded my bullet journal video 
I believe the foil planner sticker was also from the Ginger Cat Co. I could be wrong though, so I will update that in the description box. And then lastly, we're just going to be doing our sidebar. So I used the castle, of course, um, at the top there just to cover up the calendar. And then I put down my two habit trackers, but I haven't actually been using any habit trackers the last couple of weeks. Well, while they've been on their school holidays, I've kind of had a little holiday myself with them so i haven't really been tracking anything i'm just so used to putting them down that i just put them down and then as always i have a next week section and then i had run out of the foil overlay headers so i decided to cut the sides of the sheet here like, like that because then you can peel up the side bits and use those as well I am also going to be coming back to new releases on Fridays very soon. I haven't been doing anything this month, but as they are going back to school, then I'm going to get back into it and they will be coming back out, coming up very soon. I'm having trouble putting basic English together and now my phone is ringing. People should just know that on a Tuesday evening, I'm busy, I'm doing voiceovers and I'm uploading videos. Anyway, this is where the fun kind of was happening. I was putting all of the foiled overlays down. It's the first time I've used any full box overlays. So I was very excited. And then um, here I was just using the kind of last leftover scraps, if you will, of the foiled sheet from the Ginger Cat Co. And I just added them on top of another full box right there. I'm gonna give you a little wiggle. Like I say, in person it's so shiny and so pretty and it just does not do it justice on camera but here's everything that I've got left over and I'm going to be putting my leftover stickers in a pile and I'm going to be doing a giveaway at the end of September with all of my leftovers so I will keep you updated on how to enter that but that was it for this week's video if you did like it then make sure you give me a thumbs up also if you are new to my channel then please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all next time bye guys